Hello and welcome to the 2024 Women's Basketball Media Days. I'm Carly Drew here, now joined by the Air Force Falcons. Right next to me, we have senior guards Joe Huntimer and Madison Smith, and of course, head coach Stacy McIntyre. Thank you, ladies, so much for joining us this morning. You're the first ones up for our Media Day show. How are we feeling so far? Oh, you know, I'm feeling great. <laughs> Excited to be in Vegas. Yes. Pretty good. Happy to be here. Yes. Thank you guys so much. Now, Coach McIntyre, I'm going to start with you because this is a first season for you as head coach, but you've been a part of this Falcons program for nearly a decade. Tell me uh, just what you're looking forward to most in the start of the season. Um, well, you know, clearly new position for me, but, you know, yeah. not new to the Air Force Academy, having been here for nine seasons. Um, just looking forward to, you know, keeping in place what, you know, we've started here and, you know, from, you know, on the court, from our pressure defense style of play and, um, you know, making sure that, you know, we are super competitive in this conference and, yeah. you know, making an impact on this conference like we've done since we've been here. Mm -hmm. Already pr applying that pressure on the offense, so building up that pressure defense, it makes sense. Madison and Joe, I just want to hear from you guys what it's like having Coach McIntyre as head coach so far. How have practices gone? What's the vibe like amongst the team? <laughs> um, it's been pretty good so far. We're really enjoying having kind of a change of pace. Uh, coach Mack and the new coaching staff coming into practice has kind of just brought a different energy that I think Joe and I are both really enjoying. And the team seems to be having a good time and we're really excited for the season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, kind of everything she said, Coach G was definitely a legend, but Coach Mack was the right person to take those reins mm -hmm. and lead Air Force into the next chapter. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I want to talk about your guys' uh, game individually. Joe, I'm going to start with you because this is the first you're coming back fully healthy. Two seasons ago, you had an injury. Tell me about your motivation for this year because I'm sure there are people on your team that are looking to you as inspiration, both of you as leaders. But what does it mean to be back and fully healthy? Yeah, those same people that are looking to me for inspiration, those people are my motivation. I. At an academy playing four years, you definitely do it because of the people there. And all my teammates, they really supported me last year. I wasn't fully healthy the entire year, and they still were my number one fans. They were cheering when I got into the game. And they're the same way this year when I'm out there in practice, when I hit a shot, they're my number, number one fan. So love them, love the girls, and they're in my corner. Yeah, love that team chemistry. Madison, uh, you're a leader on defense. Tell me what you want to do in this new season. What goals do you have for yourself? I think mainly just being there on both sides of the court for my team, doing everything I can to help them, whether it's on defense, offense, or just the boards. Um, mm -hmm. I think Joe and I both have a role, and maybe it's not so much scoring, but just setting the tone, and we're looking to do that on every side of the court. Yeah, it's, it's so exciting to see, and we're looking at some video of you right now. Just a key playmaker on the Air Force team. Coach McIntyre. A bucket. <laughs> yeah, a bucket for sure. Coach McIntyre, uh, you have three uh, freshmen that are joining this program. Tell me about them and what they're bringing to the program. Um, clearly, anytime you're a freshman, you know, yeah. moving from high school to Division One level and mm -hmm. um, realizing, you know, the challenges with that, whether it's conditioning or, you know, just the pace of the game. But, um, you know, we have three freshmen on the team in Sydney Roundtree, Tana Gorman, um, and also Emma Lytle. And, you know, they're bringing that energy to practice, learning every day, um, being patient, um, being attentive. So, you know, really looking forward to them contributing this year. Absolutely. And other key playmakers besides Joe and Madison are in Melanie Perry. So or Milani Perry. So talk to me about her because she's reaching the 1000 point mark. Uh, one of 11 returners on this team. Uh, what are you expecting for her in this season? Um, a lot of the same. I mean, Milani just was huge for us, you know, especially on the offensive end of the floor, averaging 16 points and almost four, four assists a game. And um, I, I know that she's going to be, you know, thankful to get back to more of her natural position and um, looking for her leadership and, you know, what she brings to the floor um, and how important that's going to be to our program. Right. Another standout player you see in Keely O'Halloran, a sophomore who has a 
game maker beyond the arc. Tell me about her and just her making those three-point shots like it's her job, right? What is it like having that connection on the team and just that powerhouse? Um, I always say I'm, I'm thankful she's on our team. Um, because anytime she gets an open look, everybody, the expectation is for it to go in. And <laughs> I think it just excites the team. And um, we're very thankful to have somebody just with that skill set um, for us to always put ourselves in a position, you know, whether it's, you know, in the game situations or, you know, just making sure that, you know, from a three point percentage standpoint that we're competitive in the conference. Mm -hmm. And you guys definitely are. So let's talk about our sophomore class because over uh, the preseason, they went through something that, you know, most people in our institution would never have to go through. You guys know what I'm talking about? The five days it, camping out in the desert, the sophomore class, did you hear anything about it and what they go through? I know you guys go through rigorous training as a whole, but what were they saying about this? Yeah, so me and Maddie did that a while back, and we okay. got to go out together. Um, and that was a big thing for some of our sophomores this year, is mm -hmm. a bunch of them. So Lex Cortez and Keeley, they went out together, and they talk about all the stories that they had just with each other and mm -hmm. that they had a, a pretty good time, as, as yes. good as they could have. Yes. And go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, it's a good program, and a lot of people really enjoy it. But if you're not an outdoorsy person, which I believe some <laughs> of our teammates aren't, <laughs> okay, um, it tends to be a struggle. But they got through it. Uh, uh, and, you know, out of all the teams in our institution, the Air Force Academy, you guys have grit like no other. And you see it in training camps like that. How do you see that translating out onto the court? Because you really are bringing on a different mindset. And what's it like just playing, knowing that, you know, you're pushing the envelope that much more and doing something great for our country? I think the main thing is that basketball is, um, like, it's fun for us. It's mm -hmm. our hobby. It's not so much our job, where you kind of see that a little bit with other teams in the conference, but it really is our getaway, and it's the most enjoyable part of our day. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I think when bad things happen to us, we just keep going. And I think you saw that a lot last year. Like, hey, that happened. Man, that sucked. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Next play. Yeah, it, that mindset is so strong. So I'd love to hear that. Uh, Coach McIntyre, what are some fundamentals that you're taking away or the legacy that Coach Gobrecht left? What do you want to implement? And just what are you looking forward to in this season? Um, just I have a tremendous amount of respect for Coach G and mm -hmm. um, what she did for women's basketball and, you know, also, you know, for the Air Force Academy and our women's basketball program and having had an opportunity to be a part of her staff and um, just admire, you know, how hard her teams have played and, you know, how they compete. And um, I think one of the greatest gifts that, you know, she shared was how to run a program. Mm -hmm. And, you know, not just run a program, but run a program at a service academy because those are two very different things. Absolutely. Okay, and let's talk about those non-conference games that we're looking forward to. Tell me about those matchups that people at home should keep an eye on. Um, well, looking into the preseason schedule, you know, starting off at home, mm -hmm. um, you know, traveling to Oregon, um, you know, also too to West Point. You know, we the service academies always feel like that they should have an opportunity to compete against each other. So, you know, we love that we're we're going out to West Point and realizing you know the magnitude of a game like that. So, definitely looking forward to that. And you know, also to you know just the games that put us in a position to return, so that some of our roster returns home to play. Well, I'm definitely excited to see the game that you guys put up in this new season. Thank you so much, Joe, Madison, and Coach McIntyre for joining us here. My very first interview with the Mountain West. So happy to have uh, it be the Air Force Academy. So thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Well, everyone, that is Joe Madison and Coach McIntyre. <laughs>